This is the ultrasonic sensor. When it's plugged in, it is lit up and looks like a couple of uh, red eyes on the front of your robot. When your computer is connected, you can come down here to port view. And you can see, depending on where it's plugged in, the distance it is from an item. So, for example, if I stick my pen here, you can see that number reduces dramatically. The lowest number I've ever seen it read is a 3 in centimeters. If you get too close like this, you're going to get a 255, which is an error, like no reading, essentially. Uh, you can see it's popping up under port 3 right here. I'll show you what that looks like. Here's where I have it plugged in right now. If I unplug that and stick it in 4, and you can see that the port will adjust there. Stick it back here. Now, the way you might use the ultrasonic sensor is to have your motors drive forward. Instead of driving for a certain number of rotations, uh, you want him to just go on. I'll slow the power down for demonstration purposes. And right now he's on forever, so we will wait not for a number of seconds, but instead until the ultrasonic sensor, and don't get it mixed up with the infrared sensor, which looks kind of similar, until the ultrasonic sensor shows a distance of less than, and now you can pick a distance. So right now it says that I'm 73 centimeters away right here. Let's put an object in there. That's 25.7, and I don't want it to hit, so when it's less than 25, we'll say. And when it gets to that little colorful square right here, then I want the motors to stop. I'll turn those to off. Now let's see. Let's see how it does. It did pretty poorly. Let's try it again. Look, I'm noticing now that my port has a different number. And so what I should have done, stopped immediately because it was already there. Uh, its current distance is this much. Maybe I want to stop within five of it. So that makes more sense. And so let's just test if the arm would have been in a good spot. I think it would have been, so let's back up. And now that we're close, let's use a medium motor to bring the arm down. Uh, I like to do arms with on per second, with a very soft power. And I think this one might need to be negative power for the arm to go down, and positive power for the arm to go up, but we'll see if I'm right in just a moment. And let's hit play. Like my distance was right, but my angle was off, so we'll try it again. Okay, notice this time I put it further away. I can back this up a little bit more. Because if you're using an ultrasonic sensor, the distance shouldn't matter. Just missed. One more try. And this time, if it's not going to work, I'm going to cheat. <laughs> 